Hi guys and welcome back to the adventures of Phil and Stacy. Um, slightly different vibe to today's vlog. Uh, I understand that it's been a while since we last posted anything or actually recorded anything for that matter. A lot's been going on since last year. Um, as you can tell from my voice doesn't sound always the way it should always sound. Um, so yeah, I've um, I want to talk to you about something slightly different today. Um, I've just been diagnosed with hypothyroidism. Um, and I have a thyroid nodule on the left side of my thyroid. Um, I've just had a fine needle aspiration biopsy um, done just just Monday gone. So we are awaiting the results of that biopsy. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd come on and share my story. I've just turned 40, um, I've turned 40 in April. Um, so a lot's happened. I now wear very vocals and uh, my thyroid's packed up, which is uh, somewhat inconvenient. Um, so just to give you a little bit of a basis, I it wasn't me that realised that there was a problem. It was actually a colleague of mine at work that came to me one day and said, Stace, you don't, you're, you're not right, you're not yourself, you've got a goiter, a lump on your neck, which I never noticed, no one did, certainly myself and Phil didn't pick up on it. Um, I had been feeling under the weather, or not quite what, I don't want to say under the weather, I would say just not right for several months. Um, I had just been promoted back in October last year from being a supervisor to a manager. Um, I work shift work, I work at um, Stansted Airport in terminal security and I'd just been promoted so I'd gone from doing an early shifts, say 3.34am starts to, to doing 10 hour days, 5 days a week to going from that to yeah, 12 hour day shifts, 12 hour night shifts um, transitioning from getting lots of rest and lots of sleep to most weeks having days where I would be awake for a 24 hour period eating patterns had gone out the window and and instead of used to having my main meal at like two o'clock in the afternoon I was having a main meal at seven eight o'clock at night or um, four o'clock in the afternoon if I was on a night shift so a lot had happened, a lot had changed. Um, the last four and a half, well, five years has been like an absolute whirlwind of starting a new job, being promoted very quickly, lockdowns, project work, and I just didn't take a breath. Lockdown, obviously, I worked the whole way through, so that's had a bit of an impact on everything, really, that I wasn't aware of so yeah I just thought the symptoms I was experiencing which were lethargic um, sore throat um, no energy starving hungry like all the time losing weight eating constantly um, insomnia sweaty really boiling hot doesn't matter what time of the year I just put that down to the menopause um, gut health was really bad, but I put that down to celiac disease and being, you know, really intolerant, hyper intolerant to dairy and gluten and wheat. And it was just a minefield of going, well, this month I can eat da um, dairy, now I can't. This month I can eat fish, now I can't. Eggs are a bit iffy. So it was a constant battle with what I couldn't, couldn't eat. And I just thought that was normal me. Then after my colleague had come to me back in March and, and basically pointed out that I had this lump on my neck and that I didn't see myself, I went to the doctors, got blood tests and the blood tests came back as high inflammation, high T4 levels. So that was a clear indication that I had hyper thyroidism um, and then they said right okay that's that so then we need to then look at 
the thyroid lump that's on there um, went to go and see a consultant and they said yep you need a biopsy thigh needle aspiration which I had after having a uh, ultra scan first everything's happened really quickly so it's all happened within the last couple of months um, so yeah the words possible cancer cancer screening is a lot to take in and has really really hit me hard in the respect that I can't do everyday things like I normally do. I've used to be really active dancing, walking, hiking, going to the gym. I just don't have any energy for that and I haven't done for months and months and months. Um, so it's kind of going, oh, so it wasn't the job. Oh, it wasn't because of lockdown. Oh, it wasn't because of I'm a bit under the weather. It's all because of that butterfly little the organ that's so important to us humans that was causing me all of this problem that little gland right there so that's where we're at i'm waiting for the biopsy results um absolutely hoping and um, praying to the to the universe that it isn't cancerous but i am preparing myself for that i just want to move forward I am the world's most impatient woman I need to know now and I don't need to know if I need to know now I need to know now so we can move on get an action plan in place and then I can get better and get my damn life back <sighs> my career is very important to me but it has taught me that I need to listen to my body right now so it's going to be this new adventure that I'm going to share with you all Hopefully the next video I'll make would be positive. But for me, even if it is cancer, I'm going to fight it. I'm going to get better. And I'm not going to let it be a negative. But I'm doing this, recording this, sharing you this journey with you for all the right reasons. As I said, I'm now 40 and... I want to share with you just how common this really is and I've trolled YouTube and I have seen very little on people's stories and it's there has been a couple of people that are on there in their 20s that have gone through this so I think it's something that I would love to share with you and hopefully help other people through their journey and yeah it's cathartic for me as well something that I can I can share to help me really so hopefully when I come back uh, for my next vlog with you guys it will be the results of the biopsy and what happens next thanks guys for listening and I look forward to talking to you soon take care for now